Drake's music has nothing to do with the reason he is currently trending on Twitter. All in all, it is very embarrassing. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Some people, though, could disagree with that assertion. In essence, a video of Drake doing stuff to himself has surfaced online. People have then started making comments about how big his privates are as a result of this. Given that it is a privacy violation, it is not the biggest scandal to happen to you. It's unclear how this even got leaked in the first place as it stands. Bro, I'm still alive, bro. We were just looking at the shit. It's like crazy, bro. In any case, a lot of people have been sharing their opinions about the circumstance online. Adin Ross was among those who were streaming at the time the picture appeared online. As a result, Ross voice messaged Drake by text. Hold on one sec, I'm gonna send him a voice memo. Ross informed Drizzy that he possesses a missile and that he is incredibly fortunate. You're also blessed to have a fucking missile. Although the text was filthy, Drake seemed to find it funny and he responded to Ross as he was streaming. Oh, he just texted me. He put like eight laughing emojis. It appeared from the caption that the person in the video is, in fact, him. He was not at all worried and instead sent Ross a plethora of laughing emojis. He said this might be my next album intro. Oh, great. Drake would text him back so swiftly in the middle of all the chaos, which amused Ross. In any case, none of this seems to be bothering Drizzy too much. The majority of people's remarks about him are actually positive, which somewhat lessens the shame. Regarding the infringement of privacy, Drake will need to investigate who carried out this. It was obvious that the person he sent the film to or someone who received it from the person he sent it to was the recipient. OVO must assign its finest investigators to the case in any circumstance. On Sunday night, as the most recent Grammy Awards were happening at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, Drake criticized the event on his Instagram story. In doing so, he uploaded a video of himself performing live at the 2019 Grammy Awards. The statement was sent after he was eliminated from the competition in all four categories Best Rap Album, Best Rap Song, Best Rap Performance, and Best Melodic Rap Performance. All you incredible artists remember this show isn't the facts it's just the opinion of a group of people whose name are kept a secret, he captioned his post. Congrats to anybody winning anything for hip-hop but this show doesn't dictate shit in our world. Drake hasn't even submitted his songs for consideration at the Grammy Awards in a period of years until the 2024 ceremony. He has previously complained about the Recording Academy's classification of Hotline Bling as a rap song, and, among other things, the group's rejection of the weekends after hours. During Friday night's opening night of his It's All a Blur tour Big as the What. In Tampa, Florida, Drake appeared to make a slight jab at Rihanna. As his 2016 song, Work, began to play. Drake and Rihanna collaborated on work as a way to support the singer's eighth studio album, Anti. The song topped the US Billboard Hot 100 for nine weeks, demonstrating its commercial success. At the 59th Grammy Awards, it was also a nominee for Record of the Year and Best Pop Duo or Group Performance. Drake has made appearances criticizing Rihanna before, including Friday Night. The lyrics of his For All the Dogs song, Fear of Heights, seem to allude to the artist and her album, Anti. Why they make it sound like I'm still home? He continues, apparently referencing Rihanna's anti-album and its Sex With Me song. I'm anti, I'm anti. Yeah, and the sex was average with you. And I had way badder bitches than you, TBH. Fans instantly criticized Drake, 36, on social media for allegedly calling out his well-known ex, 35, so many years after their breakup. In 2016, the Hotline Bling rapper and the Diamond singer had a brief relationship that ended two months later due to alleged scheduling issues. Rihanna stated to Vogue in June 2018 that she and Drake were not friends anymore but also not enemies either. What has altered since then that has led the one dance singer to ostensibly disparage the love on the brain singer is unknown. Drake rapping about Rihanna in 2023 and sounding as mature as he did in 2013 is as disappointing as it is predictable, one person tweeted. Drake dissing Rihanna on the album is crazy he's so salty I'm weak, another added. A third wrote, Drake dissed Rihanna my baby she is somewhere changing diapers for the 20th time this morning that lady does not gaff LMFAO. Referencing how Rihanna recently welcomed her second child, Riot, with her longtime boyfriend, Asa P. Rocky. The couple also share a one-year-old, Riza. According to Drake's supporters, his new album For All the Dogs continues to be a diss track for Pusha T. Streaming sites began to provide Drake's newest album early on Friday morning, and fans have already speculated that a few snarky bars on the song Fear of Heights are directed at his longtime foe. Drizzy makes a nasty reference to Virginia in his second verse, which either be a dig at King Push's home state or at his wife, Virginia Williams whom he previously name-dropped on 2018's Doopy Freestyle. You niggas some pussy for real. You niggas some sissy for real. Virginia, I pull up and chill. You know you can't come last day before you get caught on a date. Before you get put on a plate. Before you get slid on like skates. Before I get turned on like bass. 
I know that look on their face. Don't tell me you're scared of Lil Drake. Don't tell me you're scared of Lil Aubrey. Drake's apparent subliminal shots didn't go unnoticed on social media, with one ex-user writing, She's Drake basically told Pusha T I go to Virginia, and chill all time see what happens you go to Toronto El Mau. Another said, Virginia I'll pull up and chill Drake pushes about to do bro bad. Another attentive listener speculated that the airline skit on calling for you makes fun of the clips rapper's recent Twitter rant whining about his problems with American Airlines. That wasn't the only song that fans connected Pusha T to. Ironically, many people believe that the opening track of For All the Dogs, Virginia Beach, would be directed at Pusha, but that wasn't the case. The summer of 2018 saw the eruption of Drake and Pusha T's beef as they traded jabs on Doopy Freestyle and Story of Adidin. More recently, Drizzy seems to criticize Farrell and King Push in the song Meltdown by Travis Scott's Utopia. While Pusha T has not yet responded to For All the Dogs, Drake just announced that he is taking a break from music to focus on his health. But I, pro I, I probably won't make music for a little bit, I'm gonna be real with you. He said on his I Sirius XM radio show table for one. I need to focus on my health. First, first and, and for foremost, I've been having the craziest problems for years with my stomach. Health. And I need to get right. Oh my I have God, a lot man. of other things. So I'm going to lock the door on the studio for a little bit. I don't even know what a little bit is. Maybe a year or something. Maybe a little longer. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.